Hey guys, today we'll be looking at chemical reactions through the lens of thermocamera. Previously in my videos, I've already used a thermal camera to show processes like the temperature of white phosphorus increasing when it's been left in the open. So I decided to dedicate this whole video to the reactions, but we will look at through the lens of the thermal camera. The yellow target always indicates the temperature in the center of the frame, the red one and the blue one indicate the highest and the lowest temperature. So let's start with some classic reactions and you don't forget to like this video. The first thing we do is we add some water into concentrated sulfuric acid, oleum and chlorosulfuric acid. Dilution concentrated sulfuric acid in oleum is followed by massive heat emission. For instance, the peak temperature my thermal camera indicates is almost 89 degrees Celsius. And now let's compare this to the temperature that we get by mixing water with oleum. Rapidly mixing concentrated sulfuric acid or oleum with water may cause the resulting mixture to boil. Wow, 154 degrees! So pouring these two components out on ice is the safest way to dilute them. When chlorosulfuric acid reacts with water, it hydrolyzes instantly, sputtering sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid, and its temperature goes beyond 140 degrees. Now we'll use a thermal camera to take a look at another classic experiment, which is the interaction between potassium permanganate and concentrated hydrogen peroxide. Adding a potassium permanganate crystal to hydrogen peroxide results in a violent exothermic reaction with the emission of oxygen and heat. The highest temperature captured by a thermal camera in this reaction amounted to 90.6 degrees. A slight change in the color palette makes this reaction look like a volcanic eruption. Up to this point, the temperature in all the reactions we've seen so far was increasing, but now I'll dissolve ammonium nitrate in water, and the temperature will decrease. The initial temperature of water was about 20 degrees. By dissolving some amount of ammonium nitrate, we managed to decrease the temperature by approximately 25 degrees. And for this peculiar reaction, I'll mix two cryogenic liquids, two liquefied gases which are ammonia and hydrogen chloride. You all know that classic experiment in which ammonia solution and hydrochloric acid form white fog consisting of ammonium chloride. Well, this is the exact same thing, but with individual substances in the liquid state instead of solutions. Slow motion helps you to see that a large amount of white fog was formed before we make the liquids contact each other.
and this is what you see if you use a thermal camera to look at this reaction. The maximum temperature of this reaction reached 242 degrees. Here is one more reaction with liquefied gases. This time it's liquid ammonia and liquid chlorine. Liquid chlorine and liquid ammonia have practically the same boiling temperature. Just bringing the liquid chlorine test tube to the petri dish with liquid ammonia lets us observe white smoke forming. This is ammonium chloride. The forming of which can be the result of one of the following reactions. Ammonia oxidation with chlorine, the reaction of chloramine forming in a rapid decomposition of it, ammonia's interaction with hydrogen chloride, that forms as a result of interaction of chlorine and atmospheric moisture. And of course, we'll take a look at this reaction using a thermal camera too. So having mixed two cryogenic liquids at minus 30 degrees, we got the temperature of nearly 300 degrees. Let me know in the comments any other reactions that you like to see with the help of a thermal camera. Just keep in mind that this is a thermal camera, it is not a pyrometer. Therefore, no any fire in the reactions, please. See you in the next video.